we're looking at Melda Productions M equalizer here. And uh, I'm going to show you how to get it programmed to be a stepped filter effect. Just going to play the drums here. I have it inserted right behind the reverb and show you how that sounds. All right, that's the effect we're after. Uh, made famous by King Tubby and then Scientist. Uh, it's not the exact sound, but you're going to get the effect of that. Uh, you can put a phaser in behind it. It gives it a nice effect on there as well. So I'm going to load in uh, the default preset. As this is how you would be starting when, uh, when you load up the plugin. Uh, so first thing you need to open utilities here. You have these four multi-parameters. These can be assigned to control any of the parameters in the plugin. Um, before we do that, I like to crank the saturation up. It's not crucial, but it's uh, it's subtle, but I like what it does to the sound. Then we're going to take multi-parameter one here, click on that to open it up. On this panel right here, we can give it a name. So I'm going to name it FREQ for frequency. On this side, uh, you determine what kind of mode that the plugin is working in. And we want it in banks. Value mode here, change to by bank name, because we'll name the banks as we go along, okay? Then on the left-hand side, there's a plus sign. We want to click that, and this will let us load in the um, parameters that we want to control. So we're going to use EQ6, put it to enable, and EQ6 again and select frequency. Those are the two things that we want to control. We want to be able to turn the band on. Um, and that's only because I want to have an off bank. If you don't want an off bank, then you don't need the enable. You just set it up to be on in the main window and put your frequency in. Uh, the main thing to get the stepped effect is to turn off this interpolate values. So make sure that you have selected um, the parameter where you want it off and turn it off. Okay. Now the number of banks is right here. We're going to adjust this to 11. You can have up to 128. And you can select the banks. If you're listening to your song as you go along and you want to hear how things are being affected, you can select each bank by this top icon here. So for this first one, we're going to want it to be off. Um, as you can see how the color changes on these rows, that frequency 6 is selected and it's a, a little different color on the bottom. If I select the enable, it shows that that's the active parameter so that you can know um, which row those are on as you go along. Because you could add in a bunch of these and you could have a lot of parameters you're controlling here. So for this, although this is off, I'm going to set it to 7500 just so it's in the place where you want it to be when you start. Whatever frequency you want to start with. Um, you can have as many steps and whatever frequencies you want here. I'm going to name this to be off. You can also use your computer keyboard for the naming. The next one is on already. The rest of them are all on. So we don't need to adjust that anymore. We just need to dial up the frequencies that we want and put in the names. Uh, sorry, we want 7500 still for the first one. Okay, let's name it. 7.5k and we're going to go to 5000 name it 5k 3000 name it 3k 2000 guess what we're going to name it One thousand. You don't have to name them. You can get this effect going without that. Five hundred hertz. Name it five hundred. Gonna go down to three hundred hertz then. Name this three hundred. 
150 here. I'm going to go to 100. And finally, 70. So as I said, uh, depending on what you're doing, you can add multiple bands here to set this up to do, you know, all different kinds of effects to your sound. Um, this is just a very simple way of setting it up. And you can have as many steps as you want. Um, so at this point, we're done with this window. We've given a name, we selected banks, we selected by bank name. We added the parameters that we want to control. We turned off the interpolate values for them so that they will step, they will jump from one to the next. And we adjusted our banks to 11, adjusted the frequencies that we want, turned one band off, and we gave them names. Okay. So at this point, I have a controller hooked up. And if I adjust my controller, you can see right here, it's reading out the frequencies as we go along. Okay, and you can see band six is off. Now it's on and it's moving. It's not gonna do anything to the sound though. So what we have to do is right click on it, select high pass. You can select whatever type of filter you want. You can get some cool effects by just using a peak. You can also set up for a low pass effect if you wanna uh, use it for that. Now we're going to slide these handles here to get some resonance in it. Okay, let's try that out. I think that's very close to where I had it set. I'm going to play the song again, or the drums anyways, and let's see. All right, and it works fine. Uh, let's just change this to a peak filter and we have to raise it up but since we don't want to change the level of it um, we don't need to add that to the multi parameters it will stay set with that much boost once you put it in one place it's going to stay there if you do want to control it then you can add that into your multi parameter as well That's a little more subtle because it's leaving all the frequencies in. It's just boosting that one there. So you might want to make it a bigger boost, maybe make it a little wider. All right, but it works. Um, so that's it. You can set this up for as many different types of filters you want to use. If you already have the Melda Productions plugins, they also have an M filter plugin, which um, you can use as well. I think it has a, some more settings for the filters or more filter options available for what you can bring up. Um, they do have a free pack and this plugin is in the free pack. I'm not sure what all features are disabled because you can pay to unlock it and get full features, the oversampling and such. Um, I would believe the bank stuff and everything is available in the free pack, but I can't say for sure. You would have to download it and try it. Check it out for yourself to see if that's the case. Uh, you might be able to get a free dub filter effect there possibly. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks.